It's Monday, February 12, 2007, Abraham Lincoln's birthday, and you are watching The Ointment. I'm Steve Tatum, Honest. Our top story, the war of words is heating up between the United States and the nation of Iran. Nuclear weapons are being discussed, which could put the two nations at the brink of war. Let's take a look at how this very important and breaking news story is being covered by the major news outlets. A law enforcement source close uh, to the investigation in Hollywood has confirmed that 38-year-old actress and model Anna Nicole Smith has died. Well, there's breaking news now on Fox News Channel. Fox News has just confirmed that Anna Nicole Smith has died. The surprise death tonight of Anna Nicole Smith, just 39 years old. What happened? This is NBC Nightly News. Smith despertó primero la atención del público como modelo de la revista Playboy. Oh, I'm sorry. I guess this story isn't nearly as important as I thought it was. Turning to another major story, the Vice President of the United States may make an appearance in court at the Scooter Libby trial. This would be an historic appearance. And let's now go to see some news footage on this very important event. At 2.49 this afternoon, we were advised by hospital personnel that Anna Nicole Smith had died. Now we look back at the mysterious life and the sudden death of this tragic beauty. Again, apparently I'm wrong. I'm sorry, not that important. You know what Cheney ought to do though? He ought to show up in court with silicone breast implants. That way no one will notice he's done anything wrong at all. Okay, by Saturday, Anna Nicole Smith had been dead for a day or so. So let's see how Katie Court covers the story of the United States firing warning shots into Pakistan. We're just looking at the Fox News crawl that said that Zsa Zsa Gabor's husband is now claiming paternity of Anna Nicole Smith's baby and the story just keeps getting stranger and stranger but we will be covering it. You know who I feel sorry for in all this is Jerry Ford. His death didn't get this much coverage and he was even an ex-model. In political news, John Howard, the Prime Minister of Australia, has warned U.S. Senator Barack Obama, who's running for president, against early withdrawal from Iraq. Let's now go to Sydney, Australia, for coverage of this story. Good evening. Former Playboy bunny Anna Nicole Smith has died in a Florida hotel, making world headlines. <sighs> you know, I'm beginning to think maybe it's a slow news century. I haven't seen this much journalistic integrity since E! Exclamation point. The network did wall-to-wall -wall coverage of O.J. Simpson's alleged double homicide. E, of course, stands for entertainment and nothing more entertaining than a double homicide except for a pair of double Ds. That's the ointment for another day. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Steve Tatum and that's news. We'll catch you tomorrow, everybody.